welcome to the channel and welcome to a game called Portal Dungeon. This is a demo, as you can see down here. So uh, this game is, it's, it's, a, it's a basically a roguelite, a roguelite, I should say, um, which I don't generally care for, but it's not bad. So you can, <clears throat> up here you can choose your class. Um, I have not tried the warrior or the uh, mage, but I tried the archer. You do have less hit points when you pick the um, the archer, but uh, I do like the range abilities. So I don't know if I can change this one here, because I don't really care for this ability here. But um, okay, we go ahead and select, and you can play up to four, you know, four people. So we'll go ahead and start. Oh, I got to be ready up. Sorry. Okay, now I can start. Okay, so now you are put in your town. You can increase the difficulty here, which I'm going to change it to normal or turn it to easy. Sorry. So then here you can buy, you can change your character, your class. You can change uh, this. This just tells you your item overview. It tells you what each item in the game you'll, you'll come across does. Um, this is how you get into the portal. This here is how you buy stuff. Some things I got zero talent points right now. And actually, I think I, yeah, I pretty sure I purchased the attack speed. You got a uh, base attack, you got skill cooldown, you got healing amount, base health, that kind of thing. And you got movement speed. Experience gain. Okay. This here, if you can acquire some uh, blue gems, I got one left. I could buy something. I think I, yeah, I already purchased one of that. So these are your altars. The altar will give you... A random item each time you explore and each upgrade will get will have a higher chance of getting more powerful upgrades or items. Uh, each item each time you upgrade an altar, the speed at which you revive your teammate increases. Okay. There's a chance of ancient altar to appear in the game after using it a large number of tentacles will appear for 30 seconds. Okay. There's a chance for the blood altar to appear in the game. After using it, you can exchange the current blood for items. And each time you upgrade, you will have a higher chance to get more powerful items. Okay. Battle Ultra to appear in the game. After using it, a large number of elite monsters will appear. And each up upgrade will summon more and stronger items. Or enemies. Um, I'm going to go with this one. So I have one more blue gem. So I got that. So I got... I, I played this a few times. I played, I played a few playthroughs. Um, and then I got I got those those blue gems, and I had one talent point to spend. So we're gonna go into here. We're gonna start off with this. Oh, and the first very first one we choose is uh, medium number of chests and has experience bonus relic decreased luck by two percent. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so got my archer here. I got my abilities down here in the corner. So, the idea is you, you're going to attack these mobs, and um, as you attack them, you get gold. So then I got my gold, I got 66 six gold right here, and I can unlock this, open this chest right now for 55 gold. And it gives you a sticky bomb, I will take it. So it gives me a random chance to put a sticky bomb on there, and he just blew up with one. And that gives me a purple gem. Some chests require purple gems to open, to unlock. So you can keep attacking and keep on getting gold. Um, there's no time limit. They would, they would, many, many will keep on spawning, and you'll keep on getting gold. However, in the upper right corner, you see how it's a shadow assassin will attack. That'll make the level harder because he'll constantly attack you every once in a while. Or every few seconds. So that becomes a lot harder at that point. And you got a lot of random mobs. Or you got a lot of mobs on the screen. You get that shadow assassin come after you. It could be bad times. Okay, this is a canned fish. 50% chance that when using a skill recovers, we heal, we heal 3%. Okay, sure. And I got too many mods on the screen. I can't open the chest here. So we'll wait till we clear some of this. I'm going to use my rain. Okay. 
All right. Uh, use to restore health for nearly nearby teammates. Per second, I want to heal me myself too, or just my teammates. I'm guessing that's a fall to my death kind of thing. Ah, a spider screwed me up. That spider web will make it you can't move, which can be very bad. So it's important to get regeneration items in this game. Regeneration items are very helpful, especially when you have so little hit points. Okay, and I have a... Oh, shoot. Um, I got an item here. Charm the nearest monster. I don't think I want that. This increases or decreases attack speed. I don't think I want that. Whoa! What happened there? Poisonous mushroom. When defeating a target, there's a 10% chance to poison nearby enemies, dealing 5% maximum health. Okay, yeah, we'll get that. Oh, shoot. And I didn't get a chance to get the item I just purchased. And I completely messed with that skill. Oh, shoot. Ah! Okay, let me go back and get my item here. Oh shoot, I just missed. Um, huh. Well, I'm screwed. Okay, I gotta jump down. Alright. Jeez, getting kind of busy already. All right, so we got a normal battery. That'll put a, allow me to use one of my skills twice. Oh, come on. I have to stop it, stop running. Come on. Attack speed would be nice to have too. I don't know if there's anything down there or not. Yeah, it's just my death. Okay. Good to know. Not really. When you level up, you do get some more health. You got, you get, um, uh, increases your maximum health. And there's a portal. Okay. So now we can choose which one we want to go to. Um, you only get one per, well, you can do some of these, I think. And of course you get up to the boss. Uh, let's see. Here we've got a medium chest. A number of chests is medium. Small chance a chest, treasure chest will appear as experience bonus relic. Increased damage taken by 5%. I don't think I want that one. Increased the number of monsters by 10%. Oof. Okay. Well.
Ja, oh, das ist rum. Once you get a bunch of items in your inventory, it's it makes it much easier. Oops. I meant to jump. Yeah, they don't give you much time to open up chests and things. Staff of Wisdom. There we go. That's going to be a, a healing item. That'll be nice. I'm not completely mess with that skill. Oh crap, the rock. I didn't see the rock. Bomb. I think they stack, but I'm not 100% sure. When hitting a target, there's a 5% chance of stunning. Okay. Poison mushroom, okay. Sneakers gives me run speed ten percent. Um, this one here, I see med kit, poison. What's this one do? When the target is defeated, it would heal. Th okay. Um, I'm gonna go with that one. I think. But that I'm not gonna remember to keep on using that that healing thing. monster attack power reduce the amount of gold coins I don't want that reduce the amount of gold coins obtained by 5% increase the number of monsters by 5 
Um, okay, well, I guess we'll just do normal. increases my attack speed. That's what we want. on here and so I can get up there because I can't make it. Decreases my attack speed. It makes your skills more damaging. Increases skill damage by by ten percent. But I would rather have my attack speed because my skills aren't always available. So I would rather increase my permanent attack speed. Defeating a target, there's a 25% chance to cause the target to explode, dealing 150 damage. Uh, base damage, yeah, so we want that. That's nice. Oh. There we go. Okay. Now, those nails over there give you a bleeding damage. That's nice. Spring? No, oh, we want bleeding damage. For the same right now. Okay. I'm going to show you what the bleeding damage does if it does it. Yeah, yeah they do it on the, on the end of there. The little dot there does bleeding damage. Okay. <laughs> 
I just gotta get to the portal because they're gonna keep on spawning. Okay, so we got increased number of monsters, which is not a bad thing, it gives you more gold. Increase skill down. Increase skill cooldown by 5%. So that means it makes it take longer or it cools it down faster. I think I think it means that it cools it down faster, so I'm not sure how that how they how they worded that. And then decrease luck by four percent. Um, this is an unknown. This could be a shop, could be a level. We'll go the unknown. Escape from here does not cast skills. Are awarded upon, wait. Escape from here and does not cast skills are awarded upon reaching the portal. Mission in progress. Oh boy. These guys are tough. Mission failed because I already cast in spells. Um, but yeah, these guys are tough, man. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, return to village. So I got the game over on that one. So here's all the items. You can see I had um, a couple of these, a couple of these. So I think I do think they stack. And I got nothing with that I cared over. So I didn't. I kind of failed that one. Yeah, that was the unknown. Was bad. Should just go on the other normal one. I do have another. I do have another uh, blue gem. I can not how many blue gems. Sorry, thought I did. You can spend a bunch of gems here. This stuff, I don't know what this is for. Maybe this might be for the future expansion. There really isn't anything. I don't have any more. Exp I almost had another point available use but uh, I don't so yeah it's an overview of the items anyway so that is portal dungeons so it's an interesting game it's you know the graphics are like pixel graphics but um, pixel art but I mean it's it gets the job done so yeah Hope you guys do like the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and we will see you on the next one. Bye for now.